Hello lovely friends, welcome back to the channel. I am always so happy that you are here. If you are new here, I would love it if you would subscribe and join our growing community. If you would like this video, if you do, and let me know that you are here by leaving a comment. On this channel, I do videos on femininity, homemaking, striving to be a high value woman, and we also talk about some subjects that are a little bit controversial in today's society. To give you a little background information on myself, my name is Cynthia, I'm 25 years old, I have been married for a few years now, I live in Canada but very close to American friends, and I have three dogs. I do a lot of videos on carrying yourself as a graceful and elegant woman simply because I have the background in modeling as well as having competed in one of the largest pageants in the world. This isn't to boast or anything like that, this is just to show to you how femininity and embracing that more elegant side of myself has helped me accomplish many things. If you have watched my video on posture, I will link it above and I will link it down below. You know that we talked about the meaning of elegance and we tied it to being a feminine woman. Feminine women carry themselves with ease in a type of flow. Being feminine means being very in tune to your body, your senses, and your movement. Walking is one of the ways, second to posture, that you can communicate femininity in your daily life without having to say anything at all. The feminine woman, when she walks into a room, you tend to notice her, but you can't pinpoint exactly why. Is it because of her physical appearance? Is it because of her mannerisms? Is it because of the way that she flows and moves? All of these factors play together, but one of the undeniable characteristics of a feminine woman is her ability to walk gracefully and elegantly. Now, there are many things that perhaps I don't consider myself an expert in, but I think that with probably, gee, it's been at least 10 years under my belt, with walking and having been trained by some of the best in my country, I feel like I can offer the everyday woman something to take away from this video. I make these videos not because I want to have some sort of internet fame, but because I really want to share with you some of the concepts that have deeply impacted my life. Being able to walk in a room, even if you don't strive to be a homemaker, and if you really do strive to be a career woman, can definitely help you be noticed for a type of je ne sais quoi when you walk into that interview or that boardroom. Walking with purpose, confidence, and elegance is crucial in terms of first impressions. Before I get into the tips, one of the first things I want to encourage you to do is find the proper heels. I am just going to use a simple, basic beige pair of heels. If you have watched my video with Ina, you have seen me show you how I put insoles in my heels, and I will link that video above and down below. You want to go for a type of mid-length heel. I know that if you are in the modeling world, etc., you are going to go for a higher heel. But we are talking about everyday classy women that are learning to walk elegantly. Go for a mid-range heel. You also want to pay particular attention to the insoles. I know that a higher quality shoe is going to have a leather insole, but that is not always practical when learning how to walk femininely because you might be slipping and sliding in that shoe. If you still want to use that shoe, try to add an insole that covers the entire sole of the shoe. The next thing you're going to want to do when learning how to walk femininely is to ensure that your hips are flexible. I know that this sounds extremely weird, but I won't show you how to stretch, but I will insert some pictures 
here and perhaps here on the stretches that you can do for your hip flexors. You can also go on Google and look for stretches that are going to help you work that hip flexor muscle. The reason why we want to make sure that our hips are flexible is because we want to have that type of natural side to side movement. Many people think that this is achieved by a type of bouncing, a type of bouncing back to back. But in reality, you should not be forcing your hips to move side to side. They should come naturally through your walk, which I will show you how to do in the next few minutes, but as a result of your hips being flexible. In my video about posture, I talked about the importance of not sitting in your hips. You are going to want to ensure that your hips are lifted a little bit and this will cause you to have a ready stance. Let me show you. If you are sitting in your hips, you are going to look something like this. But if you elevate your hips, like I showed in the video, and you put your legs together, you are going to be ready to actually take that first step forward in an effortless fashion. Let me show you. So my hips are elevated. I'm just standing. You can stand like this casually anywhere, but your hips will be ready to have one of your feet move forward effortlessly. So look, if you are sitting in your hips, you're going to really have to make a big movement, an uncomfortable movement to bring that leg over and start your walk. I talked about in my posture video the importance of activating your core muscles. So you are going to want to activate your core muscles and it's going to look a little bit like you are tilting backwards. You are going to feel a little bit of an ab exercise as you are doing this. This is going to serve as the basis of your walk. This is going to ensure that you are not going to fall from your heels. Having a strong core where you are tilting back a little bit, activating those muscles is going to help your legs stay together but also your entire body walk in the same direction. The reason why people feel uneasy in their heels is because they are not activating those core muscles and there is a type of body part that perhaps is not on the right path as the other one and that causes imbalance. Now, the thousand dollar secret to how you can walk like Miss Universe is you actually want to pretend that you are being lazy. You are going to want to perhaps shake out your entire body, relax, 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 and you are going to want to do a lazy kind of walk. People think that they need to do this model walk where they actually put one foot in the other very aggressively. But if you have your hips elevated, you have your core activated, so you are tilting a little bit backwards, and you picture yourself a little bit lazy, your legs are going to flow one after the other. Let me show you what I mean because it's a very difficult concept to grasp. So I have my core muscles activated. I am tilting a little bit backwards. I have my hips elevated. I'm ready to go with my one foot. And then I am just going to effortlessly move forward in a type of lazy fashion. So I am not trying too hard. I am actually just forgetting about my feet. I am concentrating on my core and keeping my hips elevated. And then with the stretches that I do, my legs are going to follow. Let me show you. One of the tell 
telltale signs that you are not relaxed in your feminine walk is if your arms do not move. So again, shake out your arms, try to relax yourself, and make sure that your arms move freely. People think that they need to think about what they have to do with their arms, that they need to consciously fold their elbows, but this isn't true. If you are walking from your core, activating your abdomen and lifting your hips and you are relaxed, your arms are going to naturally follow. If you want some pointers on what to do with your shoulders to make sure that they stay back, you can do what I call a half shoulder roll. And I talked about it in my posture video. So before you walk or just get into the habit of rolling your shoulders halfway and resetting them to the back position. But again, one telltale sign that you are activating your core is that your shoulders will naturally go back. And if you are relax, your arms will naturally flow as you walk. Now let's talk about turning because a lot of people forget about the importance of properly turning. You want to always avoid showing your private area as you are turning. This seems kind of straightforward, but we have a tendency to just open our legs like this and turn. You are going to want to do a half circle to turn in your everyday life. Let me show you. So just turn on yourself. You could of course do pivot turn, but in everyday life doing a pivot turn is probably going to be a little bit over the top. So just do a simple little half circle to turn around. I also talked about where you should put your hands when you are having good posture. Hands, if you want to place them on your hips while you are walking, you are going to want to always go one at a time. Let me show you. If you are walking one the other. You could put them both on your hips, but when you put them down again, one over the other. I just want to reiterate the importance of not bouncing. The elegant woman flows through her walk, so you are going to want to avoid bouncing. Now, if you are applying the techniques that I told you and you are practicing continuously, you aren't going to have this bouncing problem. However, if it helps you, you can imagine that you are walking under monkey bars that are set pretty low. Now, if you are bouncing, you are probably going to hit that monkey bar. So you want to always picture that you are walking on a level field and to prevent your head from from going up, down, up, down. If you are walking in public and you want to get somebody's attention, for example, instead of stopping your walk or losing your balance, what you can do is you can slightly turn your chest towards the subject. This actually lets out some sort of a like feminine regal that is going to help you be noticed. Let me show you how to do this. So pretend my subject is the window. I am walking, I am going to turn my chest towards the window, but I'm going to keep my hips square to the camera. So, did you see that? The last thing that I want to mention to you is the importance of smiling. I have talked about being a feminine woman and the importance of helping others feel comfortable in your presence. A way to practice genuine smiling is actually a technique that sounds very strange, but if you do it to yourself and your home, it is going to help you exude that natural smile in a public setting. When you smile in your home, let out a little laugh. I know this sounds kind of creepy when you do it, but trust me, if you practice smiling and <laughs> letting out a small laugh, you are going to exude that natural radiant smile. 
and over time as you practice this it is going to become natural and you aren't going to have to laugh to achieve that smile because a lot of times when you tell somebody to smile and you can see this in pictures everywhere they don't exude a natural smile because they actually haven't been taught how to do this you think that this is something that would come naturally but these are skills that actually need to be taught to most people because when they are told to smile they are usually thinking about oh my goodness am I actually smiling or what is the person doing with the camera or a number of other thoughts so if you are concentrating on letting out a little laugh when you are practicing smiling you are going to be thinking about those other thoughts that come to your mind at the same time because you're going to be focused on letting out a small laugh there are so many more tips and so much more in depth that I can get with this video but I wanted to put out some general tips to see how you all will receive it don't forget to like this video if you do share it with a friend to grow our community because I have so many things I want to do and some things that I want to give away and it would mean so much to me if you would help me out because I love all of you and I am here for you like I always say leave down a comment if you want to suggest a video that you want to see and I look forward to seeing you in my next video bye, -bye.